So we'll continue talking about the different other quantiles. We have talked about quartiles that divides the data into four equal parts. We've talked about, talked about deciles that divides the data into 10 equal parts. And now they are the percentiles. Percentiles in an array are the 99 values that divide the data into 100 equal parts, which are divided, denoted by PK. So in a given set of N observations, let's say X1 up till Xn, the pth percentile P is a value of X such that P, P percent or less of the observations are less than P and 100 minus 1 percent, 100 minus P percent or less of the observations are greater than P. Since in percentiles, we are dividing our data into 100 equal parts, we'll use this 100 into the denominator and the K values goes from 1 to 99. So if we look at this symmetric curve, we will notice that there are all these segments. P1 is a value that has only 1% data below it. There is P5 is a value that has 5% data below it. And similarly, P50 is actually a value that has 50% of the data below it. And this is a value that has 50% data above it. Similarly, P9, T is a value that has 90% below and 10% above. And similarly, they, they move on. These percentiles are very much synonymous to the quartiles when we say that there is a third quartile that is equivalent to the 75th percentile. If we talk about the first quartile, that is equivalent to the 25th percentile. And P50, that is the 50th percentile, is the same as the median or the second quartile or as a as the fifth decile. Over here, P90 represents 90th, ninth decile. P40 represents fourth decile. And it's so, so on. Quartiles are more ro robust and less susceptible than mean. If there are outlying observations in our data, quartile are less affected, even if it's, the data is right skewed or data is left skewed. Quantiles of a random variable are preserved under monotonic transformation. Moreover, among its application, standardized test results use percentiles as one of the very most frequent examples of it. As I mentioned earlier, Q1 is a value that has 25% data below it, which is equivalent to P25. Q2 is a value that has 50% below it, 50% of the data below it, and it is equivalent to this fifth decile or 50th percentile, and all three values are equivalent to the median. And same goes on for the other deciles, like D1 is equivalent to P10, D2, that is second decile, is equivalent to 20th percentile, and same goes with D9, that is ninth decile. It has 90% observations below it. Thank you.